As soon as you get the concept in your head, you will start looking at the world and situations and government decisions and your own decisions through the lens of long-term thinking. And it's really amazing when you do that to see how it can change the way you look at the world and the way you make decisions. And when, you, when you're looking at politicians, for example, that are running for office and you listen to what they say, you start to get a, a real sense of the fact that they're not thinking deeply long-term. Politicians learned a long time ago that there's no upside for them in thinking long term. If they try to make a decision or try to put a policy in place that will benefit us in the long term, but will cause some sacrifice in the short term, they will be punished swiftly by losing their job. Uh, a lot of times you'll see politicians stand up and talk about we can't make this environmental change, we can't make this societal change because it will affect jobs in my district. But what they fail to see is if we don't make the long-term changes, if we don't take the steps to make the changes that will carry us into the future sustainably, everybody will lose their job. The problem is because we, their constituents, think short-term, we punish them if they try to do it. We kick them out of office because, oh, if you do that policy, I'm going to lose my job. Forget the fact that maybe it's going to improve the world and my grandchildren will have a nice place to live with clean air and fresh water. It's going to affect my job right now, so I'm going to vote you out of office. So we have to look at our own responsibility in training our politicians to act and think this way.